Shut up and sit down. Hello again. Right, a little bit of a uh, an odd video this one. It's come out of a workshop that I did today. Now, idiots like me, business coaches and other such idiots of inspirational speaking like, we talk about smart goals quite a lot. Specific, measurable, actionable, uh, uh, relevant, relevant, that's the word, and timely. Obviously, you can tell that I don't really believe in them on the basis that I couldn't recite that bit very, very quickly. But this came out of today's workshop where we were talking about goals. And somebody piped up and actually said that goals are sort of like almost like really quite woolly things. Because anybody could sit and go to um, a business meeting or uh, a workshop or even sit down with their coach and come up with goals that they don't really kind of believe in, but they feel that they're under some kind of pressure to come up with goals. Now, this sort of led on to another conversation. This has kind of like come out of my own personal situation uh, that's been happening over the last few months, um, but it's also come out of uh, business situations, which I've seen. And the more I sat and I thought about it and we talked about it, this kind of idea just sort of like got bigger and bigger and bigger. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna share it with you. You see, there's a saying, you'll always get what you've always got when you always do what you've always done, okay? And that's so true, is that if your personal life sucks, it's because you're always doing what you've always done. If your business sucks, it's because you've always done what you've, what you, yeah, always done what you always do, okay? We have to break that cycle. Now, one of the simplest ways that people break cycles is through pain. What causes us pain? If we take it at its most natural element, if over here is fire, and then over there is nice cooling air, we'd want to be over there because we don't want to burn ourselves. So we have to sort of like keep moving forward, otherwise the pain is going to be that we burn ourselves. But surely that should be the same for business and personal goals. So we came up with pain goals, because you have to, almost want, need, demand things to change so that they do change. And if they don't change, you will be in pain. Now, actually, when we started to explore that, people's goals started to change. And so we came up with this just using the very, very simple word, pain. Now, there'll be a graphic here that will show you what it means and then I'll run you back on why we do it. P is for proactive. A is for actionable. I is for inspirational. And N is for non-negotiable. Now, let's run this back backwards. Non-negotiable. The non-negotiable is the pain. This is what happens if you don't do what you've set out to do. If you've set out to earn £5,000 this month and you only earn £3,000, what is the pain? What is that payoff going to be like? The I is the inspirational. What would it be like to hit that £5,000? What does that mean to you? What does that mean to your family? What does that mean to your business? What does that mean to your, your frame of mind? What does that actually mean? Actionable. Is it achievable? If you want to, if you're currently earning a thousand pounds a month and you need a million by the end of the month, is that actionable? Is that Eckers like? It's very unlikely, okay? So is it actionable? Is it reasonable that you can do this within your own power and with the power that you can use of other people to help you get there? And P is proactive. You're always thinking about it. You're always looking at ways to achieve that goal. It's on your mind 24 seven. It is constantly there and you will move heaven and earth to get to that goal because quite simply, you don't want the pain. So that's pain goals. Now, if that helps you think about your goals and maybe helps you think about your goals in a very, very different way, that's great stuff. I really hope you do. More stuff like this is available on my website, which is www.markford.uk. 
and I will see you very soon. Shut up and sit down.